Duke. The game close, I think. Now it's 34, 14, and Lauren has defeated Catskill tonight. Here, Mount Vernon on top by eight. And second one, Mount Vernon. And it's nice to have friends no matter where you go. Yes, and where it is dry now. Third down, one ball at seven. Ronnebarger drops back. And under some pressure, looking to run now. That's running room, picks up the ball down. When we're at the 10 minute mark, Aurora trailing by eight points. It's getting lame here, folks. The game that saw Aurora leading 1.14 to seven. It's now 42 14, Mount Vernon. Ronnebarger gives to the second man through. That's Weldy, who's game tackle in here this evening. Again, up three brings up second down and seven. Aurora comes out in the eye look now. Well, the deep, the deep man will offer the blocking back. And this game, the draw play goes to Weldy to midfield and move to the 45. Or the 40. Down inside the 40. The line all the way down to the 26, 27 yard line. We move onward here, first and ten for Aurora from the Mount Vernon 27-yard line. The ball given to the fullback, Lauper, and Lauper had a lot of room. He falls forward to the 19, second down and three. The Hound Dogs need to get to the 16-yard line for the first down. Quarterback front of our under center. Gives to the fullback Lauper, who stood up after a gain of just one, you know, one yard on the play. Brings up third down. We're going to call it a short two. Going inside the 815 mark. Front of our the quarterback under center. Gives on the dive play. 17. The ball resting at about the 15 yard line. Aurora through the line of scrimmage. The quarterback, Bonner, working on a long count. Gives on the dive play to Weldy. It's now burning on top by eight points. 22-14. That turns Aurora in line of scrimmage. Wide receiver split wide to the right. Bonner keeps it himself. Cuts the corner inside the pin. Breaks the tackle. Sets the offensive line, takes the option near side, keeps it himself, dives short of the goal line. Look how the ball's on the two. That's how he's standing all mine. inside seven minutes. This a very big drive for both squads. Baldwin, the quarterback running the option right side, hits his, at the last minute, but Nelson is hit against Mount Vernon. Aurora will decline the penalty. It's a legal procedure against the Mountaineer. 37 and a half yard line, and Mount Vernon breaks on a wide receiver swing up. Wide to the right side, high back behind the quarterback Baldwin. Smidley in motion. First down of the ball game. Not near with it. And Aurora, third to the 48. Five and a half minutes in counting as Baldwin works on a long count, using as much clock as possible. He is on the dive play to the first man through. Brandon Brown smashes down to the 40. In recent weeks, he's primarily blocking but he comes up with some big carries when he gets the opportunity. Smithley wide to the near side. Quinn split wide to the left. As Mount Vernon works it out of tight end. Option play. Baldwin hit at the line of scrimmage, but is able to fall forward down to about four yards. We'll say it's right at the 40. 
Third down and a long yard. Not running that double tight end rush in that power eye package in the backfield. Then when checks back in. Quarterback Baldwin gives that. Here's the, here's the could be the game for Aurora. Mount Vernon with it, fourth and one. Baldwin turns, gives to Nelson. Nelson does not make it. Fourth down, they come up short. Aurora takes over, first and ten. And their own 40 yard line. So Aurora now with the ball, trailing by just two. But in theory, they need a touchdown because they do not push the ball. Exactly what happened. 